everybody welcome to the next commentary today we are playing some uh, ap udir mid lane versus i thought to be lissandra but i guess it could be Jax. i did not swap the icons so this is what it looked like um so we'll see who we're basing i do think that if i am versus lissandra my thought process of udir was i mean we need ap and i wanted to play ap kogma but it was taken away from me and I was like, you know what? I wonder if there's a possibility that uh, eventually I just don't get killed because I go Merc Treads and become tanky. So that's the thought process. Maybe I can build Mercs. Be difficult to kill. Uh, these are the runes that I'm running this game. Going for Conquer. Have Tenacity runes. Um, they do have a lot of AP damage on their team. So definitely the Merc Treads, in my opinion, are going to be good. Uh, so yeah. So I'm just going to hit her. Uh, with your Storm, it does pretty significant damage as long as you can keep the minute. And then when you do use your Storm, which is this AoE, uh, as long as you auto-attack things, it also causes this uh, everybody within the Storm to take damage. So I can even auto-attack Creeps and it will still hit her as long as she's within the radius. I don't know if she was there or not, but... And then we uh, always have our Awaken form, which is double tapping any uh, thing will awaken. Oh, I missed that one. So we'll just poke her again. Decent damage. Auto attack twice. Whenever you use a form, your next two auto attacks get empowered in some type of way. I'm wondering if I do get ganked if I'm even killable. I'm just going to keep on pressing my W to give myself the shield. But when I use my W and I, I do get ganked, I can reactivate it to give myself a gigantic shield. So that's like really what matters a lot. Definitely need to reset. I know that I'm really low, but we saw Nunu gank bot, so that's why I could play like as aggressive as I want, and I'm not gonna die. So my screen just froze. Oof, that's not good. Uh, well, oh well, I guess. So we'll just head back mid. Uh, let me swap it so we can actually compare CS a little bit easier. As you can see, I'm down a little bit. I should probably just use my Awaken form of my E, which you can see you can recast after using your ability. With your E, you don't get two empowered auto attacks. Well, okay, you do. You always get two empowered auto attacks, but... Some abilities actually do something with it. With the W, the shield gives you healing. Your R gives you bonus damage on hit. Um... Oh, wow, she didn't go from there? I'm kind of shocked. This is going to continue spamming. I might go Rod of Ages this game. Man, she has zero care in the world for auto attacking me, huh? She was going to flash over this wall, but I was prepping myself to make sure that I will flash over to follow her. Lissandra is, like, not a bad champion, but, I mean, you can clearly see my thought process with, like, how it kind of works. 
My idea was that even if I get hit by every single Lissandra ability with Nunu nearby, I mean, of course, there's other champions in the game once laning phase ends, but for, like, 2v2 and stuff, I just don't think that they can ever kill me. Because Lissandra is, like, quick CC and burst, and then once you are you do it, you're done. And if you didn't kill me, now you're kind of screwed, because you don't have anything left for a pretty significant amount of time. So, uh... I think that it worked pretty well. I'm going to double tap my W here this time to get the shielding. I really wanted to shove in. I don't know if she's going to like all in me or not here. In this case, I am like a... Uh, I haven't been able to purchase yet, so I'm in a pretty uncomfortable spot. My bot lane's already performing pretty damn well, even though everybody's CS is really low. Demonic Embrace is always better than what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to go rot anyways. Uh, Demonic Embrace is like one of the best items on Udyr ever, especially for the AP Udyr, who normally, you normally go Demonic Embrace into tank, and how you damage people is through your, uh, R that has a high AP ratio, because it lasts a long time, but also when you double activate it, it does percent damage, so it's really powerful, um, even against like tanks and stuff. Well, I really sucked at getting that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of healing, aren't I? From uh, using my abilities, I just forgot that Catalyst also gives you healing. I have 69 healing right now. I'm just gonna do a uh, double bear, which makes it so I can't be CC'd, so even though she used her W, I just can't get stopped. Lissandra is a pretty annoying champion, so... Anyways, it's good to keep on going through uh, your cycles of stances, because how it works is that this little bar is the Awaken form, so the idea is whenever you use any form, your next two auto attacks, until you use the next stance, Lower the cooldown of it. I'm gonna double tap my W here for the healing. So as long as I'm auto attacking, it causes it to refresh faster. So eventually you can just refresh it just by spamming. It also gives you bonus attack speed, which is pretty nice. Dang, I couldn't get that really. Are they on it right now? He's just dead. We can just do this. There's no reason to like chase Lissandra. It's just a waste of time. I have no idea why Nunu was ever attempting that. I feel like that was like pretty grief uh, for him to do. You can see that she can hit me as much as she really wants, but the damage doesn't really stick that badly. Oh, you're starting to hurt a little bit, though, because I'm just full tanking it. Her just auto attack me, ignoring the wave kind of seems like she might be a little bit tilted. I'm going to save my Awaken because she might try to all in me. No? No attempt? I feel like Nunu's gonna gank me too. How much money do I need? Only a little bit more? I'll let her shove in. I'll try to CS this under tower. Hopefully I don't get ganked because a gank could be detrimental. Of course, we're gonna be way tankier once we finish Merc Treads as well. We don't have that yet. If I decide to go for it. If for some reason, like, I don't know. I mean, the game's in a really good spot right now. But, uh... 
I might go Sorg, so they're gonna die top to Liz for sure. So I'm just gonna shove that out real fast. This Pike is sick, so it's actually kind of scary because he has an execute. And it goes through shielding, so if I actually do get low, I can die. We did get him really chunked, though, uh, so he'll probably have to reset eventually and not just stay on the map, which is good. Just having people get chunked is amazing. Make them waste their time with resets. I'm happy with my reset. We got to full buy our items so we can start stacking the uh, Rod of Ages over time. Yeah, the shield is pretty gigantic. We basically shield ourselves for, like, 500 if you count the healing aside it, so... I'm just gonna use my ultimate just to try to shove this out fast. I'm not gonna miss that can anymore. I might be able to also get this plate real fast, and then I can rotate bot because there's a big fight going on. Although they might be able to win on their own. Now they're probably gonna rotate into me, so I'll still rotate down. Oh wait, that Zonyas was crazy good. I could probably still catch the list. She's gonna run into me. Okay, never mind. If she flashed over that wall, I was gonna catch her too, so. I still think it was worth heading down. Plus, like, she missed so much. I didn't even miss the play. That's just lucky. Our top lane's actually losing. The only jungle and bot is crushing it. I'm doing okay. I wouldn't say I'm crushing it. Shield myself. They're coming mid? They're only level 6, though. Oh. Everybody? I'm pretty ungankable. When I have my Awakened, I can double tap my E to just dodge a Nunu Snowball or even Pike Hook, so if I really wanted to. But I'm full HP as well, so I don't really think that I'm in risk of dying or anything. Uh, I'm gonna go buy my Merc Treads. Once I buy Merc Treads, I'll feel more confident being able to just run it, Lissandra, and just start casting. A bit easier. Plus, also, just being fast is good for Udyr as well. Oh, you're just dead, huh? Dang, you, you kind of got destroyed. Top is still losing. Diego's trying to help Top, too. Oof. Should I try to help top as well? Or is this dumb? If if you want to try to bait, but I'm not sure if that guy's even killable. You don't really do anything. And I have to just run at him, which is like not good. Let's just go do dragon, dude. I think that doing these ganks is dumb. We should only play for, like, trying to fight around objectives and just pushing. Oh, I accidentally double tap my E! No! Everybody dies here. That guy almost died in my storm outright. That would have been pretty nice to have. I knew that the Jax was rotating, but I didn't realize that my team would lose that hard. So, it kind of sucks.
But that's okay. As you can see, my damage is really high inside of team fights, so it's just bad that I wasn't there at the beginning, too. And I accidentally double tapped my E somehow, too. Shove this out. We don't have any wave. Hmm. What? What's the problem? Jax isn't even here. I think Diego is playing unnecessarily scared. I feel like we can contest this stuff. I feel like they should not be uh, threatening us that hard. By the way, our, our uh, bot lane is really fed, so that's why I keep looping back, because I'm worried that they're going to get engaged on as soon as I leave. They might get engaged on and just disrespect it. I guess there's no reason to save our Awakened. We should just always be using it just to try to shove out. Shoved out bot lane. Rotate hard for her, I guess. Can try. Nice. I said he won for me. I'm tanking for a little bit. Chasing is kind of hard, so I'm just going to leave them be. Actually, that's pretty good for you. You might be able to get him if you land your Q now. No, never mind. I was worried that they might get CC'd under tower, but Pike jumped away, so they actually went pretty far, which was kind of nice for them. Dude, really? You have your ultimate? I can't believe she has it. I'm not fed by any means, so I'm still pretty uh, squishy because I'm kind of sitting on just one item, just like everybody else. We're not, we don't have like a gigantic lead or anything this game, but our two item spike and three item spike will be absolutely gigantic. I promise you. Our damage is going to skyrocket once we finish those. We kind of just run around during team fights and try to stun people while making ourselves super annoying. Not to mention, uh, when we double tap our, our, uh, R ability, I wouldn't call it an ultimate because you just have all the stances and whatever, uh, <clears throat> you, it detaches from you, so you can just run away during the team fight. You don't need to be part of anything. I'll just clearly, I'll just clear this quickly, and then I'll, uh, go over to the Baron. Wait, did my E double tap again? You know, I have not fixed my keyboard. Not fixed it, but I swear to God it's broken. So. 
Maybe my E key actually is legitimately broken, and that's what's causing the double taps. They're not going to contest this, right? No chance. Oh, wow. Okay. There is a chance. I will just be frontline for my team. The Jacks went really deep for my team, so I kind of just get ignored, which is pretty nice. And now we have our item. Although they're probably just gonna move on in FF. I think the the pick this game actually was so good, even though my bot lane popped off. Whenever you play something like Lissandra, I mean, I've also played a lot of Lissandra. I've played a lot of most champions in the game, but mages especially. I know that whenever you play versus something that that's tanky, it feels like your whole entire champion is just meaningless, because the only thing she can do now is try to go for, hopefully one of our carries and lock them down but the, you just have to ignore me and ignoring me is exactly what i want so level 15 now i don't know how realistic it is to fight a Jax. what awakened i should be using if i do decide to fight him i'll start split pushing though i feel like i might be strong enough to the point that i should be but maybe be able to beat him I feel like if I knew what I was doing, I probably would be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I did like half of his HP just by pressing my R key. <laughs> and then I would just like uh, get my Awaken back and do it all over again. That guy is one of the most fed people on their team. He has as many items as I do. So... Wow, you got destroyed, man. <laughs> oh, the storm is kind of funny. I don't have a waking for a bit now, though. Uh, I can just sit behind the tower. It's not like they can really go for me, so... they He got CC'd so hard, <laughs> the Viego. That can also happen to me, too. Obviously, I am difficult to kill, but... You are super dead. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do whatever you're doing because that's like a lot of people. Okay, let's go. I'm just trying to get more uh, awakened stuff up, and you know, it's good for people to chase you. Udir is a very good champion where if people chase you out, you can punish them because you can just drop the storm on them as they chase. Okay, he flashed. I don't really want to use my own flash for it. I'd rather just save it for another point. I guess I can use my Awakened W just to heal myself back up. Oh. Actually, Jax might die here. I can maybe rotate it. Killing him is kind of important. Never mind. Oh, wait? He's still here for a moment, but I think he's going to see me and run. But I think that we can probably get this, right? Damn, he's still chasing?
Pike just counters me because I, I can't bait while being low. He just kills me. But I did manage to like waste so much time. My next double W was going to come up and I was going to fight the Jax because I can easily beat him. I tried like being aware of the Pike. I mean, I was somewhat aware, but it's really difficult to like escape him. But yeah, I can kind of just tank everything. So. Nice, dude. Well played. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary uh, of me playing some Udyr. I'm guessing this is the end. I don't think that they're going to be able to defend against this. They Their champions are not the fed ones. I just finished my Seraphs. My ultimate does a... Uh, about 30% max HP and it's AoE and follows you. And that doesn't even count the base damage on top of it. So I'm dealing like thousands. Um, so that's where all the damage comes from. But I don't really know how to use Udyr's Q very well. So I just don't even level it up in the case that I'm not maxing it. Obviously, if I'm maxing it. But normally, I just ignore the Q. Just don't use it. So anyways, <clears throat> hopefully you guys enjoyed the Udyr commentary. Even though I got somewhat carried by my team. Uh... If you wanted an update on everything uh, about the climb, I lost like six in a row, so we're actually kind of far. I mean, we're four wins, four wins away, five wins, five or four. I don't know. We're not that far away, but yeah, we did lose, so we're not like this wasn't it. So thanks for watching once again. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next commentary. Uh, I'll look at the because I'm like somewhat of a tanky champion. I could look at like mitigated damage. Yeah, look at that. It's not only about being the top damage dealer, it's also about um, just being an absolute menace. Um, and that's what I was being. So anyways, thanks for watching once again. See you guys later. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Briar mid lane versus Ari. I've been going, I, I went on a massive win streak with Briar, but I've been losing a lot of my games recently. Maybe it's just people know how to play against her more, or maybe maybe I've just become worse for some reason. I don't really know, but uh, playing versus an Ari. I do have Conqueror runes. This is my rune page. I don't really know what mythic i want to go for dustblade is still in my opinion pretty damn good but sometimes when you play versus tankier people it just doesn't feel very good so maybe it would be smarter to go for a something more tanky possibly like a gore drinker Dang, Mini didn't hit the wall. That's okay. I just wanted to get those three creeps. Remember that all of your healing is through uh, your bleed, so it's always important to take damage, but hit stuff, because if you do, at least you can heal, your, heal up a little bit. Like right there, I put a bleed stack on every single one of those minions, so that gives me a little bit of health back. And also using my E heals me too, even though it costs current HP, so... I'm just going to push them against the wall. I'll use my potion because she is chunking me pretty hard. The early game is the hardest part for us. She's dead to the bleed. Okay, well, she probably would have died of the bleed, no? I s swear she would have. Did I? I guess I could have burned my flash, but... Oh, well, I guess. My bad. Maybe I could have flashed and made it so Rek'Sai didn't die there. Because it's kind of bad that Rek'Sai died. I'm just going to push her away. Heal myself a little bit. I 
I know that she wants to kill me really badly. I mean, a little bit of a predicament. I mean, I could always TP back, I guess, but... I'm just gonna keep the wave there. I think I can reset. Hopefully Vi doesn't flash on me suddenly from the middle of nowhere. We can build anything with the items that I'm building, so I can go lethality still if I really want to. Let's just heal ourselves up. I don't think I would have gotten the cannon if I continued auto-attacking it, so I'm actually going to use my E just to secure the cannon. Because I think the uh, Berserk timing was really messed up there. And then we'll just heal ourselves again. Shove out. She did go topside last. I wonder if there's any way that Kragus is going to get ganked. No way, right? No, Gragas should be fine. Bot lane's winning. <laughs> Harassing the Ari, huh? Man. Half of my HP is gone. I wasn't even going for you, dude. I just wanted the minion. Ouch. Oh, well. In my experiences, being low isn't too big of a deal, because once again, you do have pretty good healing, so... It's not the end of the world, right? I hope not, at least. Oh, that hit me? Dang, dude, you're, you're hitting all the things on me, huh? I might be able to get some of these minions through the bleed. Because I'm going to play it kind of patient. We're not really down that much CS anyways. I want to jump on her, but I'm not going to. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Now we just back away. We got her ultimate. That's absolutely humongous for us. I like that. I think Ari's upset. Dang, you predicted it. But I don't die, though. That shows vision? Wow, your ultimate vision range is gigantic. Sucks that I use my ultimate to not use it bot side, but even though I didn't use it bot side, like, it did manage to get us a kill because Greg has killed her, so I guess it's fine using it that way. Oh no. Wait, I'm berserking on him now, of all people? I double tap my W and it doesn't go off, man. Man, that's so unfortunate. I came over to try to help, too. I couldn't change my berserk, though. That's the worst part. Uh, I think that going... I'm gonna try a Gore Drinker game. I think Gore Drinker's still really good on her. That was really sad, man. That was really sad. That was so close to turning into something huge because if I knocked him into the wall, one of them would have died and then I probably would have gotten a lot from it. I don't think that I can kill this guy, no? At least they didn't overdive and die. Ari, can you leave me alone, dude? You're dead. Oh, you're not gonna die because you're gonna get saved by the 
the level 6 Vi. My next Q would have killed her, but unfortunate for me, I got ganked. It was really close, though. Vi using ultimate, Ari using ultimate. So many tragic times to this game, huh? Where people are living with 1 HP, and I'm the one that's dying from it. I can maybe try to ulti bot if they try to uh, overstep. I don't know. We'll see. I am going to miss a wave for it. Man, the Vi is fed. Goodness. I hit her against the walls, so that did so much damage. My healing is still incredible too, so I'm back to full HP. I feel like I do play kind of aggro sometimes, so there's a big opportunity to get ganked. I get charmed, but that's fine because we managed to chunk her. Vi is mid, just sitting around the corner. Huh. I think that this whole entire skirmish seems strange. Like, I don't know. Their Vi is just way stronger than us. I knew Aphelios was rotating too. Because our. If Thresh is here, then I know the other people must be here too. Vi is kind of just invincible if we don't hard focus her. And I got ultied from the beginning, which also pushed, I think, some of my teammates away. So it was like just a really awkward fight from the get go. I had a feeling it was going to end up poor for us, even though we did a good job at making Ari kind of useless from the beginning because we got her ultimate. Unfortunate. I want to jump on her, but... Let me guess. Is Vi here too? I don't know, mind. You messed up. You missed your ability. I probably could have died there if she played it better, but... Thankfully it worked out in my favor pretty damn well. Vi behind me? No. She won't bot. God, she's worth so much money. Nice. Good job keeping her locked down for me so I could land my ultimate a bit easier too. It always sucks if like we accidentally use something. Oh wait, am I killing myself? I am, aren't I? Eh, I got a plate for it. A plate for my flash? Worth. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Good, yes. I also got a cannon too, right? So it was worth it in the end. Uh, it 
chasing a gnar, huh? Okay, he actually died for it. Sick. Yeah, I can pull it out. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, please. Okay, we should be able to get it, right? You're dead. Nice try, Blitz. Good attempt. Um, well, at least we got the dragon. And we got some kills, right? The Vi dying is huge. Uh, Nar TP'd in and just immediately died. So he didn't really get to do anything. So that's pretty nice. I finished my item. Be beneficial. Damn, she all, always knows where I'm doing it, huh? I'm definitely dead here. Calling the Vi over for assistance. But in the meantime, my, my uh, bot lane got killed, so it's whatever. Goodbye, tower. Vi used ultimate. Are he's one in five? I'm one in four, I guess, but... W when did Ari die so much? I know what I died to. It's the Vi, but... Our team's kind of spread on kills, so I don't know who really killed her. Me, once? Damn, dude. That guy's so fast. Nice. Good pick, good pick. I'm gonna go buy uh, my Merc Treads now. I'm kind of tired of the Ari charm, and it's gonna be super good against her, so... Had a feeling that could be warded. I guess I just won't buy now. I'll just run straight bot. I'll just wait for a better purchase than what I have now. Level two. I imagine that my champion is pretty good against Ari. Oh, maybe not. Okay, knocking her against the wall. Good poke. I think that I should always be trading HP no matter what. Because I can always heal myself back up significantly better than she can. Dang. My team dies, dude. Oh, I, I need to actually be, like, part of the team so I can carry the, the fights because I don't think that they can win without me. But at the same time, I am trying to pressure side lane. It's so bad. It sucks that my ultimate also didn't hit the person I wanted to hit. Ezreal hasn't reached his mid-game power spike yet. I imagine that once we get into mid-game, maybe we're going to be in a much better position to actually uh, win team fights a bit better. Ezreal's not really that far behind. I mean, it sucks because Aphelios scaling is always good. He will never fall off. Aphelios is always going to be good, but... At least Ezreal almost has his Mur mana, I guess.
Now the question is, do we even want to contest this dragon, or do we, ju we just want to go top instead? Like, am I going to walk into people? I would say that was a pretty damn good trade for us. Ari's actually really low. I tried screaming them against the wall there, but it didn't work out. We can maybe just finish this. I don't think that you can contest anymore. That was a really good fight because uh, my teammates found the Aphelios and killed him instantly. I mean, if he dies, we just win. So really well played by them. Can we do Baron? Are we 100% positive on this? They are respawning. I mean, we could maybe look for like a pick or something. Oh, you killed Ari? This Vi is really tanky. I don't think me and Rek'Sai together can just like want her to zero her. She has Death Stance and uh, a Bramble. That's a lot of armor. I missed the cannon. Oof. Just run, dude. Okay, well, she's committing pretty damn hard. <laughs> like, she just kept running at us. I was like, okay, uh... At first, I was just trying to help my teammate disengage because you never know who's gonna be behind the Vi. Because all the whole entire enemy team is respawned. I just didn't expect her to continue going in. Um... So, I guess we can turn around and just fight. Do I have my Black Cleaver? Oh my god, what a good purchase. I wonder if I can beat this in our side lane. Because he has Holdbreaker. Holdbreaker is a really good item for uh, 1v1s, but maybe there's a chance that I could actually win. Just because I can shred that armor and heal too much, maybe, for him to ever kill me. I might get ganked. Uh, uh, maybe not. The scary thing is getting hit by CC like a Thresh into Aphelios just killing me instantly because Aphelios is really strong. We see them all mid. The only person that can be bought is Vi. I know Vi is really strong and stuff in a good duelist, but I don't know if she can get me low enough to kill me. I guess we'll find out. My healing is pretty incredible. Yeah, the lower I get, the more I heal, too. So, like, you might be thinking that, oh, you did... Like, you were starting to really take big damage there. I still didn't really use my Scream for most of that fight. Plus, uh, I just start healing for way more. So, I don't think I was really in that much danger. I'm just trying to keep up the pressure side lane, so like as you can see, now they're gonna send people down, but when they send people down like this, then uh, my mid lane get to just be on their own. Also, Ari just used ultimate and failed, so thankfully like that's just gonna be a huge influence for I can't get caught anymore really, except for like uh, another champion. Ari's useless without her ult, she doesn't really do anything.
Uh, Death Stance is always good. I know Bork is apparently a good item on her. Maybe I should try it out. I mean, I do have good items where I deal... Or I'm tanky. So I'll try it. I never like Bork as the first item. Maybe third item's okay. I mean, people are also tankier too on their team now, so it actually has more value. Since it's uh, current HP when you hit people. Just gonna shove out bot real fast. Here comes Vi. Oh my god, Aphelios is uh, a little bit uh, strong. He's really the only person that matters on their entire team, really. Everybody else is just CC, and then there's Aphelios who kills you in like three hits. Like legitimately three auto attacks instantly kills. We need every single person to just hyper focus them. Also, I think that I should uh, maybe not be playing team fights, but trying to kill this Gnar just to annoy him. Because I don't know how easy it is to get on Aphelios. And stopping the side lane and letting Gragas do the per do the thing to get on Aphelios is probably smarter. I, I really think that Gragas is honestly a better pick champion than I am for uh, like winning team fights. Unless I somehow land my ultimate, which obviously is pretty difficult. I guess I should have uh, also just immediately... Now that we know we die immediately to a uh, Aphelios, if I hit anybody but him, I just immediately cancel it. It sucks that I have to cancel it, but the stat that it gives is just completely worthless. It doesn't do anything. It gives me 50 armor. That's it's the 50 armor is meaningless. I I still die ASAP, so I should just cancel it and just run and try to reposition. Vi's coming bot. Dang. Thought it spawned a little bit faster than that. He has a black cleaver now? Dang, he has three items and I only have two. Ah. <sighs> okay, cool. Aphelios died. Is there a way that I can fight this guy when he's in Mega? Because Mega doesn't deal as much damage as Mininar. Deal a lot, brother. Ouch. You can just take it. We get the Baron, right? You st got it stolen, okay. Well, that's kind of bad that it got stolen like that. Oh, well, I guess. At least, uh, I was correct with the answer to Aphelios's... The Gragas. Also, I think I maybe could have fought the Gnar. Oh, that was so close to landing, dude. I'm almost level 16 as well. Can 
Can I get 16 before we fight? She has a thorn mail. I'm gonna base and see if I can pick this Gnar. Although, if everybody goes for on Gnar's side, then I guess uh, we can get picked ourselves. Hmm. Rex side is one into three people. Hmm. Well, I did manage to hit the person I wanted to hit, so... I managed to kill their most important person, guys. Does that mean we win now? Because that's a pretty gigantic ulti that I just got. Dragon's up in 20. I think Ezreal might get collapsed on? Okay. Can you even handle that guy top? I don't care about the dragon. I care about not losing in hit, but maybe it's just going to get gone before I get there. No. He's going to take it. Oh, no, he's not. Just continue CCing him. Dang, man. Really? Did get it. That's sad. I guess I'll TP over. Screw the item. We should just do it immediately. Get it low for Rek'Sai to come. The thing is that, uh, their Aphilius is dead, so we should be able to finish this pretty damn fast. Dude, my ultimate really hit him. I was hoping that my teammates were going to be able to kill him, and then my ultimate would be going for Ari. That's what I was hoping for. That's still really good kills, though. healing. This wave is actually way closer than the mid wave is, so that's why I'm pushing it, because I don't care if I die. What matters is that Aphelios dying, because if he does die, I think we just win, right? That guy is the only person on the team that really matters. I hope. I think. You flashed. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Oh my god, he got hit by... Okay, huge. Yeah, I think it was good that I died. I think it was totally worth me dying to make sure Aphelios is dead. We got one inhib. Me ever landing another ultimate onto that Aphelios in the way that I did is just probably not going to happen. <laughs> I really doubt it. I feel like we were pretty lucky that we got in the first place. Over here, that is, which was quite a while ago. All right. Gragas has Lich Bane. Yeah, I mean, they have absolutely zero magic resist, so... Wow, he is just pushing mid alone. He would hear the ultimate, though, so he'd probably sidestep it, and I would probably get collapsed on pretty quickly. Is he just running it down mid? No. It's scary stepping up. If I get Violet, it's bad. They're pushing out bot pretty hard. If I want to go bot to catch it, though, I saw a lot of people down there. If I land my ultimate on Nara, I think I could beat him in a 1v1. But if Vi's around and I ulti, then I'll just die. I missed. Sorry. I think Vi is around the corner, dude. 
This guy's playing pretty damn aggressive for uh, somebody that's alone. Maybe it was for the best that I missed it. Is Vi gonna be here or no? No? Damn, he's gonna fucking escape. And I burn my flash too, which sucks. Well, here we go, dude. My ultimate might land on somebody. Who knows? Ari? Hmm. I knocked all of them against the wall. But it's just not enough. It's probably over now, sadly. I think that with Baron buff plus the double inhib, uh, double super, triple super topside could be too much. Aphelios is kind of not in the correct spot though. No, nah, it's... My team can't kill them. They're invincible, right? They're just not killable. Oh, the Blitz Crank Hook was huge, but look at... I mean, the rest of the base. The base is just so dead, dude. Oh, Gragas tried so hard, man. It's... Doomed? Wow, this guy tried so hard. Well, anyways, we lost. GG, we tried, man. I think that we played better than the Ari did, that's for sure. There was definitely things that I could have done better, but she went 3-9. and nine. She, she was kind of worthless for most of the game, but alas, no success with at least winning the game. If I killed Nar, maybe that would have changed everything. Maybe. I think it's kind of... It felt like he suddenly got a surge of healing from something. I don't really know what healed him for so much, but he got a huge surge. But anyways, hopefully you guys still enjoyed the commentary regardless. It's going to take a long time to get back to Challenger. I probably should have not played something uh, like Sona mid. I should have just played something boring to watch like Kog'Maw mid and just been over with the challenge. But hey, now the challenge continues, I guess, since we've lost so much. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.